So next thing uh, we're going to download is uh, one of the most important plugins that we're going to use a lot uh, while locating uh, web elements that is Firebug and Firepath. Yes, uh, these are the plugins to Firefox. So we're going to add it onto Firefox itself. So I'll uh, go to Google and I'll just type uh, download Firebug. So this is the link where we're gonna uh, add the Firebug, and uh, here you can see Add to Firefox. I need to click on this. I already have Firebug added onto Firefox. As soon as you click on this, uh, the Firebug will be added in a couple of seconds. Now, once you have added Firebug, the next thing that you need is Firepath. Firebug is an add-on to Firefox, and Firepath is an add-on to Firebug. So first you should be downloading Firebug and then Firepath. See, this add-on requires uh, the following add-ons to work properly. That is the Firebug. So once you are done with configuring uh, these two uh, plugins, then you're going to find them over here. You're going to see uh, a button uh, which has a bug image on it. So just click on this and it will launch your Firebug. And see Firepath is under the Firebug, right? So you need to click over here. This is basically an inspect element tool. Wherever you take your mouse to any element, uh, let's say if I click on this button, it will show some property of this element, right? So there are various uh, options available over here. By default, you're gonna see XPath. XPath, let's say if I click over here, by default, you're gonna see some property like this. This XPath is one of the locator. Uh, through this locator, you can uniquely identify the, an element on a web page. Now, this locator is generally uh, built up by using some of the HTML property of this element. It could be ID, it could be name, it could be class, it could be type, it could be any HTML property, right? Same way, there are different locators available, which we're gonna talk about in detail. So one of the most important locator is CSS. So if I again inspect this element, I get something like this. This is another locator. So similarly, there are many locators available, which we're gonna discuss about in, in depth. Because these, uh, if you're able to handle uh, these elements using these, I mean, if you know how to work with these locators, we can easily handle any element on a web page right the other thing uh, we are adding uh, these plugins to firefox only because these are plugins of firefox now what if uh, my website does not support firefox what if i have some older website that only works on ie or it works on chrome then where will i get these how will i get these elements these uh, these plugins so we're going to see these things as well that how we can uh, create our own XPath, our own CSS, our own locators by uh, digging into these HTML uh, components, these DOM components, right? So we'll we'll be we'll be taking a look at all these uh, things in our upcoming lectures. All right.